Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have two Christmas crafts for you today. The tools that you're going to need are your glue gun and glue stick. The materials that you're going to need are one of these little stars. They come in silver or gold. One of the tinsel trees. And one of the tinsel wreaths. You're also going to need several packages of the ornaments. I have two sizes. I have this size, which comes 15 pieces in the package. And then I have the smallest size, which is 16 pieces in a package. The colors that I'm going to be using are reds, silver, gold, and I have a few white. Okay, when you are choosing your tree or your wreath, you want to choose a base color that is one of the colors that you're going to be using. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to get cleaned up and we'll get started. I went ahead and opened all of my Christmas ornaments and I separated them by color. I have both sizes in here. So it's easy for me to get to. So the first step that we're going to do is go ahead and glue on our little silver star. Go ahead and add some hot glue to the very top and slide it on. Be very careful not to burn yourself. Now when choosing the bolts, I wouldn't go any larger than this size, which is the 15 in a package, simply because the trees aren't that large. Now when you're attaching these, you want to start at the bottom and work your way up. The reason why we're leaving the tinsel on is so that it makes it easier for you to hot glue the ornaments, and it will also fill in any spaces that you miss. It's very simple, just add glue to the top and start building. You just want to go through and, and do a mixture of the colors that you've chosen. Some of the colors that I like together, I really like blue, silver, and white. I also really like red with either silver or red, silver, and gold, which is what I'm doing today. I also like green and gold and red together. So it all depends on what colors you like. Just when you're picking your base, try to pick one that's the same color tones as one of the colors that you're using. You just want to put a good amount of hot glue around the top and stick it in there. Now, for, to start all the way around the bottom, you want to use just the larger ones. If you like crafts, DIYs, and hauls, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new content every week. If you are on Facebook, I also have a Facebook group, Michelle Smith Creations. There, you can get tips and tricks, you can get sneak peeks on upcoming crafts, you can speak with me directly, and you can post pictures of your own work. Okay, I'm going to work on this a little bit and get some done, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have attached all of the large balls, and I've just started to attach some of the small balls around the top. <clears throat> Now, if you can't find the star, that's okay. You can cover it with large balls all the way up to the top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with the smaller balls, and I'm going to fill in wherever I need to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to fill in with the smaller balls around the top here, too. I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all my small balls glued on. I'm very happy. 
It came out really pretty. It took three of the large packages of ornaments and almost three packages of the small ornaments to do the tree. Okay, I'm going to get cleaned up and set up and we'll do the wreath next. So I have everything open. The first thing I'm going to do is turn the wreath over to the back, take a pair of scissors, and I'm going to just trim some of this tinsel off that's sticking out in the middle. I don't really want it to show and I'm not going to be able to put a lot of ornaments right around the middle because I still want to have this area open. So I'm just going to trim any long pieces off. See, it makes it nice and clean around the center. Now for the larger balls, I just have the silver and the red. I have some few pieces of gold that was left from the tree, and then these came out of a new package. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outside ring, and I'm going to use the majority of large, and then I'm going to mix in some of these. I also have a few little white ones that came in one of the packages, so I'll mix in a few of those. So it's best to start around the edge and get that done and then you can kind of fill in the middle. And again, start with the larger and the medium ones, get all those in, and then you'll want to go back with any little small ones and fill in with those. Okay, and it's simple. Again, you just, just like the tree, hit the glue around where the hanger is. Stick it on in and hold it just for a minute to get it set. Okay, very simple and easy. I'm going to go ahead and get some done and I'll be right back and show you. Okay, so I've gone ahead and attached everything around the edge. I did go ahead and do a pattern around the edge because I wanted to make sure that I had a good mix of the colors. As you can see, my pattern ended down here. <laughs> But that's okay. As I fill in the rest, I can uh, make that look okay. So I'm going to go ahead and work on filling in the rest, kind of just building in towards the middle. You can go around and do the inside. Usually they do the outside, then you do the inside, and then you fill in on the top. Okay? Okay, I wanted to show you how I was doing. I went ahead and I've done all the way around the outside and I did all the way around the inside and now I'm starting to fill in on top. And I started with my largest ornaments first and now I'm starting to fill in the empty spaces with the smaller ornaments. So I start with the largest, then I'll go around with the medium, and then if there's anything else, I'll fill in with the small. Okay, I'm going to finish up and then I'll come back and show you the final product. The wreath is all done, nice and full, looks very pretty. Now the wreath took a few more packages of ornaments than the tree did. I used three packages of the <clears throat> medium sized ornaments. I used one more package of the small ornaments and then what was left from the tree. And then I used three packages of the large ornaments. So I had two packages of the red with the stripe and then one package of the mixed silver. So it had a flat silver and a shiny silver. Well, I hope you enjoyed that craft. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again next time. Take care.